What's up guys? Today I'm bringing you an amazing tutorial on how to record those tricky moments that you'd normally miss like PvP highlights, Hearthstone, epic plays, and just anything where you don't want to be recording all the time but you do want to get those quick tricky clips. So stay tuned and we'll get right into it. What's up guys? Today I want to show you and bring you a different tutorial, but one that is going to teach you guys an amazing trick if you're trying to get footage that would normally be difficult to get. Say you have a really excellent game of PvP in a game, or you have a really awesome Hearthstone match and you're thinking to yourself, I wish I was recording. And you can run this all the time without affecting your frames and without filling up hard drive space on your hard drive. And what's nice about it is you can also set this up uh, to run hand in hand while you're live streaming. So, for example, if when something funny happens on Twitch, you don't want to go back and download that VOD and then edit it, you can have this automatically. You just hit one key after the funny moment happens or the highlight happens, and the last 10 minutes or 30 minutes or heck, whatever you set it to is then going to save to a file at the like the snap of a fingers and you'll have it. So this is how you set that up. Uh, you're going to need OBS, which is free, which is really great. OBS is a decent recording program uh, because it records an MP4 and it's very lightweight on your CPU so it doesn't drain too much of your CPU uh, here and um, you can also change the settings so if things are uh, draining your CPU a little too much you can mess with your and modify your settings so that it doesn't. Uh, if you don't know how to set up OBS this isn't a tutorial on that this is just a tutorial on how to set up what's called the recording buffer settings so there are st there are tutorials on how to get started with OBS and how to stream with it uh, but this is going to be a tutorial on how to set up the recording buffer you see buff right there so you want to go into your settings and I think this feature is relatively new uh, the first settings you want to look at is the broadcast settings now you can ignore all of this from this these checkboxes up this is just for streaming if you like I said there are tutorials to learn how to stream but it's really not necessary uh, unless you want to stream and do this and you all have to look at that tutorial this is what you were looking at here the file path for recordings this doesn't really actually affect it too much because there's not a whole lot of reason why you'd want to be recording and using the buffer feature at the same time it doesn't make that much sense although it's funny because ironically I really require that right now while I'm recording this and having the buffer running <laughs> so it's yeah I'm, I couldn't think of any other practical uses for it though uh, streaming however I could so this is where you set how long you want your replay, replay buffer to be so 300 seconds aka five minutes is what I've got it set at now that wouldn't be ideal for like hearthstone where the matches can go up to like 20 minutes you'd want to set it for like 20 or 30 minutes but keep in mind this replay buffer gets saved or uh, it's running through your RAM on your computer, your random access memory. So you see I've got 8 gigs, that's 8,168 megabytes of RAM. And for 5 minutes of footage, it's going to use 99 megabytes of that RAM. So all the time, 99 megabytes of RAM is being used up by this program. And that's not so much, so that's really good for me. And um, since I've learned about this and had this set up, I've actually been running this all day long because it's just always recording and looping over itself and looping over itself, and it's only ever using... 99 megabytes of RAM and it's only ever going to save five minutes of footage if I click the 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 key for it F12 in my case uh, so all you want to do is set up your recording path and set up your your buffer path basically where you want the videos to save to and if you put a little money sign and then T or any of these other codes you can have it timestamp automatically for you so I just put money sign T and then it gives me the full timestamp with the year month date and um, the the length of the clip so that's useful too, I guess. Uh, not sure. Up to you guys how you want to set that up, but just whatever you want. So yeah, that's all you really need to do here. Um, just set up this and the length. Now, I would change the length, like I said, for Hearthstone so that the buffer length was like 20 minutes so that I play a Hearthstone game I'm like, oh, that game is really, really funny. Click the button and then the last 20 minutes are now saved in a YouTube file, which is really a fantastic system. Uh, in video here, 
you obviously want it to be the proper video adapter. Now, like I said, my computer's not crazy. I've got an i7 and I'm running a GTX 570 and running this all the time, all day long is not uh, giving me any issues whatsoever with frame rate in games. Like I play Guild Wars 2. This is one I really like this for Guild Wars 2. It runs at about 60 FPS most of the time for me. And when I'm running this, I don't see any performance hit at all. Now, I actually don't use this resolution downscale option because I want to get decent quality for YouTube. Um, and I've figured it this way. You could do a resolution downscale, but then you'd want to come in here and you'd want to mess with this setting here, the um, how quickly it's processing it. And this is going to affect your performance on your CPU and uh, your overall computer yeah, performance here. Very fast is going to give you a decent quality video. Uh, I guess, yeah, decent quality, almost like if you were using lossless, but a little bit less. You can see some graininess. Uh, with the very fast option only if you're running in full um, 1080p so I like to do no yeah none here and 1080p and 60 FPS and then in the advanced you're gonna need we do want to apply those changes in the advanced you are gonna need to have this checked for allow 61 to 120 FPS entry in video settings it might not let you go to 60 FPS unless you do this first um, and then very fast, this is what you want to play with, but I prefer to just use 1080p and very fast. If you have a 720p monitor, you can do the same thing. You can re review some test footage, and then you would just change this here to be... Th the more you put it towards slower, the higher the quality, and the more CPU drain is it's going to give you. And that's really all you need to change here. I mean, obviously, you're going to want multi-threaded on... And um, this, uh, these other options, you can just mirror what I've got, but it's going to work fine for you. Um, and then you can also, what's really nice is this is OBS, so you've got the option to also have a webcam going. So if you're doing some epic plays and you wanted your live reaction, you could have that, and you can mess around with your microphone. You can also disable these by clicking on them if you don't ever want sound in the videos. All completely up to you. Um, so now the only other thing you want to do is set your hotkeys here, uh, which are not going to be set by default. I do have a mute unmute hotkey by default. Um, so this is going to be a bit confusing, but I'll explain it. There's a start, there's a stop, and a save hotkey. Uh, you don't actually ever need the start and the stop hotkeys. What I, what I do is uh, I don't use these. I just come over here, I click the little arrow, and I click start replay buffer. Now that's what you want to do. I can't do it now because I'm recording and using the replay buffer feature, but you would click this little arrow here and do it like that. Um, now the save replay buffer key is what you really want. That's the button you click after something funny or cool or whatever happens. So I'm going to show you that just based on this tutorial. So let's say for example, this is again just for example, we're going to open up the folder where it's going to be saved to. That would be recording and then that would be an OBS recording. Now you can see I've already got some time stamped buffers here with dates and all that stuff and that's really really cool. And some plays, yeah, from some games, video games, Guild Wars 2 and stuff like that. Um, but for example, say you had this epic play in Hearthstone. Now for me, that epic play is going to be opening up the battle net launcher <laughs> so i guess i'll just show you that so let's say for example me opening the battle net launcher was the funniest play in hearthstone history all right fine as the battle net launcher opens up here um i'm just playing on my computer and this is creating this is if if you just are not using the record mode i'm using the record mode but if you're only using the buffer mode this is not saving any footage on your hard drive it's just constantly using some random access memory there's never any hard drive space being filled up until you hit that button and again it's only going to fill up the amount of seconds that you've got it set to so say yeah okay i just opened up hearthstone wow oh my gosh lol best play in history i need to save that i hit f12 okay now look, nothing even happened. You're like, what the heck just happened? It's it's not going to look like anything happened. And if you see here, I've actually got, um, going to have in here a brand new clip, which I think would be this one. I'm not sure. Um, let's double check. No, it's not that one. Um, that one's definitely not it. Let's see. The LC is having a fit. Uh, okay, so let's try one of these ones. Now, I've got to go to my... I've got these weird effects on right now. Let me just remove them. 
Okay, so you can see that there is a clip here from before, and um, I don't know if this is the right clip, but um, it's gonna, it's gonna, yeah, there it is. So there you go, and you've got, uh, you've got me opening up the Hearthstone. Now this is actually set. That's I think that's a different example um, from before. But, oh, it's actually might be this one. Yeah, it's this one right here. This is it. Sorry. Uh, so this is actually the clip we just hit. I should have deleted all these first, but look, here it is. And you can see, now it's going to be confusing because you're like, what? This is like, this is before you opened thing, the Hearthstone thing. But you can see it's five minutes long, and near the end, right where I stopped, was when I opened Hearthstone. So now you've got that epic play, which you've just... Yeah, that epic funny play. This is not saving any footage on your. Can you phone. hear me? And and how amazing is that? This is just now a file. So all day long you can run this, and that's what I've been doing for the last couple of days when I've been playing games like Guild Wars 2. And I mean, it doesn't. It's not necessary for games like League of Legends that have their own built-in replay system, but definitely it's super useful for Hearthstone and getting content out there. And I think this is really good for people who you know. They don't want to strain the computers. They don't want to be recording all day long and you have to go through eight hours of footage. Like, nobody wants to do that. Nobody even wants to go through an entire stream worth of footage. So if you're streaming, this is really cool, too, to just, boom, hit that button. And I feel like not a lot of people know about this and that it's so easy to do. It was an option in Fraps, but Fraps is going to be really a lot more CPU heavy. Uh, OBS is open source, free. Uh, the link is in the description for you to go download that and get this set up. And I hope this helps. And feel free to uh, drop a comment below if you guys have any questions. And drop a like if this video helped you out, guys. Um, so that's that's my tutorial on how to get some awesome highlight footage with the replay buffer feature in OBS. So I hope, I hope it helped out. I will see you guys on the next one.